Now, one thing about me is that I love being able to deal and manipulate cards, especially at card games. So going along those same lines, today I'm gonna to be teaching you my version of the second deal. Let's do it. Now, a couple of things before we start off. I've been doing the second deal for a few years now, and there are certain methods and techniques that I like to use that maybe other people don't use in theirs. So I'm just gonna be teaching you from the way I perform. And another thing is when you're actually doing the second deal and you wanna ensure that you don't get caught, you wanna use borderless cards. So you wanna use cards that go all the way out to the border like this. So a deck I'd recommend is the deck I'm using. We got these B playing cards. These are the ones that I would recommend at least starting off with. And now one last thing to note is this will require a decent amount of practice. So I really want you to take your time, deconstruct this video as you need to, and then you can really master that second deal. Now the second deal that I like to do is the push off second deal. This is where you push off two cards at once, take that second card while pulling back the top card dealing that second. Now there are actually two ways I like to do the push off double. The first way is dealing directly onto the table. And the second way is throwing the card onto the table like so. They both involve a very similar method. So I'm gonna be teaching it on how to do it this way. Now, after all that talking, I'm sure now you're ready to learn the second deal. All right, so let's finally get started. I'm gonna be holding the deck in my non-dominant hand, which is the hand you should be holding the cards in anyway, and you should be dealing with your dominant hand. And I like to hold the cards in an ordinary grip like this. So I have my index finger on top. I have my middle finger on this corner right here. I have my ring and pinky finger on this side, and I have my thumb either resting on top or over on the side like this. Now, once you're in this grip, you're all set to go. Now, since this is a push off double, you're gonna be pushing over two cards as closely to evenly as you can. Now, of course, my push off doubles are not always perfect, but you can see they're pretty close that people won't be able to differentiate if this is one card or two cards, especially when it's lying on top of the deck like this. And this is why we actually go ahead and use a borderless deck so people really can't tell where one card ends and another card begins. Now, pushing off two cards as one is probably one of the most difficult parts of this second deal because you don't want to push off too many cards and you don't want to just push off that one card. So really nailing down pushing off two cards and not having them push off like this did take me a while to learn. So if you get frustrated in the beginning, it's okay. Just, just go along with it. Now, the way that I like to do this actually is when I come over here to the side of the deck and that's where I use my thumb to push off. So I'm pretty much using actually the nail of my thumb right here to push off those two cards. I'm not really using my whole thumb like this, otherwise too many cards get pushed off. I'm just using my nail or like just the tip of my nail along with a little bit of my thumb to push off two cards like one, okay? And again, it's not completely perfect, but it's enough to get the job done. Now, while the thumb is focused doing, focus doing, now, while the thumb is focused on that, these two fingers are actually very key because as the thumb pushes cards over, sometimes you will get still three, four cards. And what these two fingers are gonna do is they're gonna help in kind of counting off those cards. So as you push it over, let me see if I could have a better angle for you. So now again, the thumb is pushing off those two cards and these two fingers here are preventing more cards from being pushed off. So I can literally push these as far as I want I can push down as hard as I want, push out as hard as I want, but only two cards will come past these two fingers. So again, the key is pushing off with the tip and thumb of your nail and preventing more than two cards from sliding out using these fingers. And that's how you're gonna really have to practice that push off double. Now, once you have those two cards pushed off, the next part is actually doing the dealing. Now, there are a couple of ways that people go about doing the dealing. In the strike second deal, after you push off the card, you come up and then you strike on the second card and come down like so. But I think that it is just way too obvious, especially to someone who knows what to look for in a cheater. I feel like coming up here like this and concealing what you're doing, that's kind of a dead giveaway that you're doing a second deal. So that's why in the push off double, or the push off second deal, you kind of come over, push off those two cards. You wanna keep this hand straight here, maybe tilt up a little bit if you really have to, but you wanna keep it straight for the most part. And now you come over with your middle finger here and you're gonna use this part of your finger to grip this second card here. So you're using that part of your finger here. And now your thumb actually, when it comes over, it's gonna make contact with the center of the card here. Again, 
A dead giveaway for someone doing a second deal is coming up top and dealing from here. But if you see someone coming here, it's a lot less likely that they're dealing the second card. So you push off those two cards, come in, grip with this, like this, and your thumb is gonna come down here. And now while you're pulling the card out, you're kind of gonna make this swiping gesture like this, right? So you're gonna go across like this on this card. Hopefully that's a bit clear. Now the swiping gesture is what's really gonna sell your second deal so it looks like a regular deal. Now continuing from there, right? You push off, you start doing the swiping gesture. Now you wanna pull back that top card, exposing that second card right here. So when, now when your thumb actually reaches to this point to do the swipe all the way up here, it makes contact with this corner here and that's what you're gonna grab and pull out. So in slow motion, we go here, grip, swipe, pull back, get that second card contact and put down, right? So that's all we're doing here. Now there are a few more tips I'd like to share is that you've probably seen my index finger not just hanging around like this while I'm doing the second deal, right? The index finger actually helps in squaring up the two cards as I come out like this. And it also slightly conceals that second deal so people really can't tell what's actually going on. Now another tip to sell your second deal is that you don't wanna go across like this when you're dealing. You actually wanna go outward. So you wanna push out and like this. Because when you're doing this, everything is at an even point, so people can be looking here or here at either hand. But when you're coming forward like this, people are usually gonna stare at this hand. The people are gonna look at the hand that's coming forward while grabbing that card, right? So people are gonna be looking at this hand and really not gonna focus much on what's going on here, unless of course they're looking for a second deal. But again, these are just tips to really help sell your second deal. That was two cards. And I'm telling you this video would be so much easier to make if my hands were not constantly sweaty from this heat. So real quick recap, you're gonna be holding the deck in your non-dominant hand in an Erdnay's grip like this. You're gonna push off two cards as one. These two fingers down here are gonna prevent more cards from coming out. You're gonna make a swiping gesture like so, while also gripping the card, the second card with this area of your middle finger. Swiping gesture, use this index finger to straighten everything out. Pull back on this card, exposing this whole card. Pull that out, and as you're pulling out, you're squaring up and pulling out diagonally, not horizontally, looking like that. Now, one last tip that I have is you really wanna master each part of this move to achieve that second deal that you want and make it completely undetectable. And when I started first practicing this, I really started nice and slow to ensure that I can actually do it and once I mastered that down, I actually like to listen to music when practicing. So I usually listen to slower beat songs and I deal along with the beat. And then as you get better and better, you can speed up your second deal listening to you know faster songs. Okay, and that really that tip really helped me. So I'm hoping that'll help you as well. And that is how you do the second deal. Now, for those of you who managed to make it all the way through the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and go and check out that playlist on cheating at cards. So, I'll see you there. Peace out.